everyone. Welcome or welcome back to Novel Idea. My name is Dia and today I have a booktube anniversary tag. So I'm just going to jump in to this tag because all of the questions will make everything clear. So first of all, let me say I cannot believe that it has that this anniversary has come around um, and it came around so quickly. I never thought that it would go by so fast. And I am so excited that you guys are here, that I have become a part of this community and I love the friends that I have made. And I love having my commenters on the channel that comment regularly, even if they don't have a channel themselves, and that just make me feel so loved and so welcomed. So thank you for that. Okay, let's jump in. So the first question is how many years on BookTube are you celebrating? This is my first year anniversary. I'm so excited about that. How have you changed from your first video to now? <laughs> the first few videos that I made, we were on the road. We were actually traveling and we were on our way north from Texas, where I used to live, to Idaho, where I live currently. I was making videos in whatever situation I was in. So we stayed in a lot of Airbnbs on the way up here. And sometimes they had great internet, sometimes they didn't. Sometimes we were in the middle of a snowstorm. <laughs> um, sometimes it was just uh, really easy and, and really fun. And other times I struggled with editing and making sure that my phone had enough storage on it and all of that kind of thing. So there's that. I, th I think I'm a little more comfortable in front of the camera, but still not too terribly <laughs> comfortable. Um, and I don't know that that's ever going to change. I'm an introvert and just knowing that there are people out there listening to me is sometimes a little, a little overwhelming for me. What are three of your favorite videos you've made in the past year and why? And then what videos are you the most proud of and why? Um, I think those, those pretty much would be all the same thing. So I really loved um, being able to do a video with Tiffany, reread, rewrite, or burn. That's what it was. Um, that was something that I saw a lot of booktubers that I watch doing and I didn't have anybody to do it with me and so I asked Tiffany if she would and she did and <laughs> it was there was a lot of trial and error I think we did we film it twice or three times I can't remember I think it was I think it was twice but I'm really proud of that one and it's one of my favorites and then um, my other ones would be just just having my family in videos with me. So that's happened three times. I've had both of my daughters in videos with me. And we played a game in one with my oldest daughter, Kasha. We play, or we got to just have a little chat um, and let you get to know my younger daughter a little bit. And then... Uh, my husband was in a video with me for a Q&A for 100 subscribers is what it was supposed to be, or 150, and, uh, and it ended up being more like 200 by the time we actually got around to it with all of the things that were going on. So um, those, those ones I would definitely be very proud of, and they are some of my favorites. And I'm going to I'm just gonna stop there. I think those are, anytime I have somebody else in a video with me and can be interacting and talking, I think those are my favorites. 
what is your most popular video? I did not look this up. I really don't pay much attention to stats, you guys. I do this because I just love to talk about books and be a part of this community. And I don't really pay much attention to what's doing well or what isn't. So I, I'm not even sure I know how to look that up. <laughs> what have you struggled with on BookTube in the past year and how did you overcome that struggle? What's the hardest thing about creating videos for YouTube? So I think the only thing that I've struggled with really is um, like just being able to, my husband initially was working more, sorry, dog hair, um, <laughs> was working more outside of the, the house. He was out um, in the field more. And I, have him at home quite a bit during this winter season. And so it's been a little bit of a struggle to find uh, quiet and places to film, but, um, but I'm always glad when I make it happen, even if it's not the most perfect video. So that's probably been the biggest struggle recently. Of course, in the, in the beginning was just um, learning the editing process and I'm still not great at it, but I have learned some things <laughs> and that's the main thing, right? We, it's to be learning and growing. <laughs> so next question is, have you had to deal with negative feedback or comments and how did you handle it? I haven't had to, I've been very blessed. Um, the only thing that I have had to deal with is the uh, people that like want you to try a product or that kind of thing, or it's some sort of bot maybe that is just commenting on videos with a, a certain hashtag or something like that. But I, I haven't really had to deal with any negative comments. I'm not a big enough channel for that. I don't know that I ever will be, but I have loved um, everybody that is commented and I try to interact with everyone that comments. It's the whole reason why I started the channel. Um, all right, shout out a huge supporter of your channel. So I have a few of these. Um, Tiffany is the one that got me to begin my channel. She's the one that really encouraged me to start and I'm so glad that she did. Uh, and she has been a big support in learning editing and, and doing all of that as well. She's been amazing. Um, but as far as one that do not have a YouTube channel, one of those is Curious Hmm. She's interacted with me from day one and I really appreciate uh, her comments, the way that she expresses the what she is reading and why she likes it or what she doesn't like about it and she is always encouraging me so i really appreciate her and then also um amy amy c is it c i can't remember the last initial but amy has been a wonderful supporter as well and she it has even done a bunny read with me. They want to be a part of what I'm doing and that just blesses me to no end. What has been the best book that you have read this year? Oh goodness, I hate this question. I have had several really good ones. I will do it for just this year, just 2023. And I will say that it was This is Happiness by Niall Williams. It's something that I'm still thinking about. It was just this beautiful uh, pastoral sort of writing about just a little slice of life in Ireland during a very specific season at a very specific time in, in the young man's life. And it was, it's a novel, it's not, it's not a 
biography or anything or a memoir, although it reads like that. And yeah, I'll say that one. I have loved it and I have not stopped thinking about it since I read it. So, where do you see your channel in a year's time and what do you hope to have achieved? Um, I don't know where I see it. I, I just wanna still be here, still be interacting with you guys and having this community because I have come to absolutely cherish it. So, I hope that that's still happening. Um, a few things I haven't really gotten to do yet I would love to co-host a, a read-along or read-a-thon and I would love to take part in more live discussions. I haven't done any of that yet. Would maybe like to create a tag. I don't know. Those are, those are some things that I've been thinking about anyway. What has been an unexpected surprise of being on YouTube? Well, I, okay, so my biggest surprise has been just how many people have subscribed, I guess, because I'm, I really am just here for community. And so I'm always, always blessed when someone uh, clicks on a video and then ends up wanting to stick around and they, and they end up liking and subscribing to the channel. It's just it's just been so lovely but i have been very very surprised by the fact that anybody <laughs> wants to do that uh, thoughts on equipment what has been the most useful piece of equipment that you have bought um my tripod has been the most useful when i first started i would just prop my phone up anywhere i think i bought it when I was in maybe two months in to recording and I just bought the least expensive sturdy tripod high rated on Amazon that I could find. Thoughts on equipment? I, I don't use any other equipment. I, use, I record on my iPhone. I use iMovie to edit and I use Canva to create my thumbnails and that's it that's all i use so there you go oh, what's that about <laughs> no 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 we're not gonna we're not gonna bark okay hey no barks what advice would you get to someone thinking to start a youtube channel just do it just do it get in there make your mistakes make your blunders uh, don't get discouraged if you have to record a video three times. Uh, all of those kinds of things. Um, technology can be really frustrating and it can be nerve-wracking to sit down in front of a piece of technology and talk to it, but it is well worth it. If you will take the steps, you will not be sorry. So. Those are that, and then um, it doesn't say this, but I just want to mention a few um, booktubers that I have really appreciated in my time on here. And um, I already I already mentioned Tiffany at Beautiful Minutia, but I have two booktubers that started their channels right around the same time that I did, and I have so appreciated both of these ladies. And that is Kelly over at Kelly Reads A Lot and Talia over at Bandana Book Mom. They have been wonderful. And then I also have had several booktubers who have reached out to me because I was too nervous to ask. And they have all asked me if they can buddy read with me. So I just wanted to say thank you to all of them as well. And Thank you so much for accepting me into this community and for making this year just one of my favorite reading years ever. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. Like if you liked it, 
subscribe if you want to, and I will see you in the next video. Do you want to say goodbye? Do you want to say goodbye too? You do? Okay. Bye, you guys.